गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल लीव क्लासेस आई एम अंचली इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो ऑफ नंबर प्रोग्राम्स आई टोल्ड यू डिफरेंट टर्म्स आर गिवन टू डिफरेंट नंबर इन टूडेज वीडियो विल बी डूइंग प्राइम नंबर को प्राइम नंबर एंड टू इन प्राइम नंबर सो विल चेक द डेफिनेशन विच नंबर आर नोन प्राइम को प्राइम और ट्वेन प्राइम एंड विल बी राइटिंग द प्रोग्राम्स फॉर दीज नंबर सो लेट्स बिगिन we start with the prime number the question is to input a number and check whether it is a prime number or not in maths already we know the definition of prime number that if a number is divisible only by one and itself then that number is said to be prime number that means prime number has only two factors one and itself so the logic which will be using here is to count the number of factors of the given number if the total number of factors of the given number are only 2 then that number will be a prime number otherwise not right suppose let us take the example say if the number is 5 now how we will find the factor of the number factors you will always start from taking 1 and the maximum factor of any number can be that number itself right and every time starting from 1 we will take till that number in denominator and find the remainder if the remainder is coming zero that means the denominator is fully divisible by the numerator and the denominator is the factor right 5 mod 1 equals to 0 yes 1 fives are 5 remainder is 0 so 1 is the factor of 5 5 mod 2 is equals to 1 2 to the 4 remainder is 1 so 2 is not a factor 1 is a factor 2 is not a factor 5 mod 3 is equals to 2 3 ones are 3 remainder is 2 5 mod 4 is equals to 1 so 2 3 4 these are not the factors of 5 and then we come to 5 mod 5 is equals to 0 so for 5 we have only two factors 1 and 5 so after completion of this we'll count how many factors are there of the given number if it is only 2 that means it is a prime number let's take another example of 4 Say four mod one equals to zero, so one is a factor. Four mod two is equals to zero, so two is a factor. Four mod three is equals to one, so three is not a factor. And four mod four is equals to zero, so four is again the factor of four. So here, how many factors are there? Three. That means four is not a prime number. And here we have only two factors. That means Uh, five is the prime number. So let's use the same logic in the program also. So, so let's start with the programming. Uh, since I have to input the number, so I'll be using a scanner class, and for that I have included util package in my program. Enter a number, and using next int function, I have entered the number. Now after this, I have taken one variable ctr. Ctr is a counter which will count how many factors the number has right so in this from where we have to start from 1 till that number that will be we will be taking a loop starting from 1 till that number so we will be using for loop you can use any while do while any loop in which you are more comfortable so i'm using here for loop for int i equals to 1 because we have to start finding the remainder starting from 1 till i less than equals to n n is the number till n 5 and 5 right and i plus plus every time i have to increment the denominator by 1 2 3 4 so i have given i plus plus now here you will check how you will find whether the uh, factor i is the factor of n or not if n mod i 
n is the number which you have entered i is the looping variable that will be changing every time this is equals to 0 if this condition is true that means the value of i is the factor of n 5 mod 5 is 0 that means 5 is factor of 5 2 4 mod 2 is 0 that means 2 is factor of 4 so whenever this condition is true we will increase the value of the counter by 1 so we will be doing this again and again till this value from 1 till n right so after completion of this loop you will get how many factors are there of the given number n so now we will be doing uh, checking that after the loop if the number of factors are 2 so you will be using the loop if how many factors are there in which variable in CTR so you will check if CTR is equals to 2 that means only 2 factors are there then you will print the statement that it is a system dot out dot print ln. it is a prime number it is a prime number else if it is not 2 it can be 3 it can be 4 it can be 10 then you will give system dot out dot print ln not prime number right and after this we will close main and we will close class i hope the logic of this is clear to you it will be helpful in checking for co prime and twin prime numbers also and all the definitions of prime co prime twin prime are given in the pdf the link is there in the description box you can download and check those okay so let's start with the next question now we will check whether the two given numbers are co prime numbers or not now what are co prime numbers the numbers which have the hcf that is highest common factor as 1 then those numbers are known as co prime numbers say if i take the example 5 and 7 what is the hcf of these two numbers the highest common factor is 1 so 5 and 7 are co prime numbers 8 and 9 for these also the highest common factor is 1 so 8 and 9 are also co prime numbers now if you see here both these numbers are prime numbers but here 8 is not a prime number but it is co prime number 8 and 9 are co prime numbers that means if we are taking two numbers two prime numbers then they will be always co prime numbers because the highest common factor will be 1 but it is not necessary that co prime numbers are always prime numbers we can have 8 9 8 is not prime 9 is also not prime so both of them are not the prime numbers but still they are co prime numbers because the highest common factor is 1 right so how we will be doing this whenever we find the factors always it starts from uh, 1 and till that number now we have to find the common factor so for this first we have to find the smallest of both the numbers and then we will start finding the factors from 1 till the smallest value so let us take the example 5 and 7 which is smaller 5 is smaller so we will be taking 5 mod 1 is equals to uh, 0 we will check this and 7 mod 1 is equals to 0 so if this condition is true that means 1 is the factor now after this we will be repeating the same process for both the numbers till the smallest number smallest number is 5 so here this condition is false again we will take 5 mod 3 is equals to 0 we will be checking like this 
7 mod 3 equals to 0. Again this condition is uh, false and here 5 mod 4 equals to 0 and 7 mod 4 equals to 0. This is also false. 5 mod 5 is equals to 0 and 7 mod 5 is equals to 0. So this condition is also false. Here this is true but false and true will give you false. So all these conditions are false only for one condition both uh, our value are 0. The uh, remainder you are getting as 0. So one is the HCF. So the same logic we will be using. We will find the smallest of the given two numbers and then we will take the loop from 1 to the smallest number. We will be repeating the process like this and at the end we will check for uh, that if the uh, total number of factors are 1 or only it is 1 then uh, it is a co-prime number. Okay, So let us start the programming statements. So here I have entered two numbers in N1 and N2. Right? Now we will find the smallest of these two in SM I can find. You can use if also I am using uh, math.min function to find the smallest of two n1 comma n2 so this is i have n, um, got the smallest in sm now we'll be taking the loop for int i is equals to 1 we want to start dividing by 1 so starting from 1 i less than equals to the smaller value why we are taking smaller value because the factor uh, cannot be more than the number. So, we have to find the common factor. So, we are taking till small value only and every time we have to increase it by 1. Now, we will be using if n1 mod i is equals to 0 and n2 mod i is equals to 0, you are increasing the counter by 1. In CTR variable, we are uh, keeping the track of the factors, how many factors are there. So, the common factors here. So, if n1 mod i equals to 0 and n2 mod i equals to 0, both the conditions are satisfied, then only we are increasing the counter by 1 and like this you will be taking the loop till smallest number and after this, after completion of this you will check if CTR is equals to 1 that means we have only one factor and we know that 1 is the factor of each and every number. So if the value of CTR is 1 then you will print the message system.out.println co-prime numbers. Else, you print the message not co-prime number system dot out dot print ln not co-prime numbers and then you close main and then you close class. I hope this program is also clear to you. In case of any doubt, please do comment in the comment section. I will try to solve your problems. Now we move on to the question to input two numbers and check whether they are twin prime numbers or not. Two prime numbers are said to be twin prime if the difference of these two numbers is 2. So 11 and 13 these are twin prime numbers but if we take 11 and 17 they are not twin prime numbers right. Although 11 is also prime, 17 is also prime but they are not twin primes because the difference of these two prime numbers is not 2. So how we have to proceed? First we will be checking for each number whether they are prime or not. First number is prime or not, second number is prime or not and then we will check the difference of these two numbers and if the difference is 2 then it is the numbers are twin primes otherwise not. So let's start with the programming statements. I have entered two numbers n1 and n2. 
and to check the prime numbers we have to count the number of factors for each number and for n1 I have taken CTR1 and for n2 I have taken CTR2. So I will be uh, storing the number of factors of n1 in CTR1 and n2 in CTR2. So let's start with for loop for int i equals to 1 i less than equals to n1 i plus plus. I have to check the number of factors for n1 and then we will take if n1 mod i is equals to 0 we will be doing the same logic as we did for prime numbers and here we increase the counter 1 by 1. So CTR1 I have in, incremented every time so after completion of this loop in CTR1 I will get how many factors are there of number N1. Similarly we can do for N2 also i equals to 1, i less than equals to n2, i plus plus and here you will check if n2 mod i is equals to 0, ctr2 plus plus. So after completion of both the loops, you will get the total number of factors in ctr1 and ctr2. Two. Now we will find the difference between n1 and n2. The difference has to be 2. So for, for finding the difference, if the user has entered 13 as n1 and 15 as n2, the difference will be minus 2. If the user has entered 15 and 13, the difference will be 2. So we can do, we can find the absolute value of the difference so that we get only the magnitude, we don't get the positive or the negative number okay so for that we will find the difference in one variable int a equals to math dot abs of n1 minus n2 so whatever is the value plus 2 minus 2 you are getting only the magnitude now we will be checking here what we have to check three conditions that CTR1 also should be 2, CTR2 also should be 2 and the value of A also should be 2. Then only those N1 and N2 will be twin prime numbers. So we will be giving here if A equals to 2 and all three conditions should be true. So we are putting AND operator and CTR1 is equals to 2 and CTR2 is equals to 2. CTR1, CTR2 is giving you the number of factors of N1 and N2. So if all these conditions, first, second, third, all these conditions are found to be true, then only N1 and N2 are twin prime numbers. So here you will print system dot out dot println twin prime numbers. Else, we print not twin prime numbers. Not twin prime numbers. Close main and close class. I hope all these three programs are clear to you. You have understood the logic also. In case of any doubt, please comment in the comment section. Uh, normally you get one program from numbers in the exam of 15 marks. And the most important thing is how to uh, do the calculation to get the desired output. See here nothing new is there but how to check whether uh, you are getting the required output or not for that you need little practice so I hope all of you are doing the practice and all the best to all of you keep practicing keep working hard God bless you children